Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Steve. I know it's been a while. I'm here to make a quick video tutorial because I just figured something out and it took me a while and it shouldn't have taken that long. So I'm trying to make this quick. If you have an M1 Mac, I'm guessing it's all M1 Macs. My M1 Mac mini did not work with my Blue Yeti. And there are fixes on YouTube that say you need to restart your computer with the uh, USB port of your Blue Yeti plugged in and then it'll work. That didn't work. Another guy said reset your PRAM. That did not work. So for me, there was one way to get my Blue Yeti to work and power on with my M1 Mac and that was this. I'm going to turn my camera around. So Blue Yeti, as everyone knows, powers with a USB cord. You know, connects, bang, connected to your mini. It powered it on because the light there would turn red, but that was it. There would be no power um, showing in the settings. Uh, you wouldn't be able to select it as an input or an output. The one thing that fixed it was this, a USB-C to USB-A adapter. It could be any brand. And I don't know if it was because of the power to the port or if it was because there just aren't any drivers created yet, but all those other fixes did not work for me. Resetting the PRAM didn't work and restarting my M1 Mac mini with my Yeti plugged in did not work. The only thing that worked was connecting this USB port to this adapter and plugging into my mini via USB-C. And that my friend was the one and only way I was able to get my Blue Yeti to be recognized by my M1 Mac Mini. This right here, simple. You could try all the other things online. You'll have to sit through a six to 10 minute video. Um, I don't get paid for this, so hopefully this was under a minute or under two minutes. Blue Yeti, M1 Mac, USB-C to USB adapter. That should work, peace.